I was really successful in my career without having a four-year degree, but there were times and there were certain positions where I either got turned down or I was told, okay, well, if you want to ascend beyond a certain level, this is a barrier, and it made me really nervous. I'm a decade-long college dropout. <laughs> I went to an undergrad at a different private school in the state, and I just ran out of money. When I was deciding whether or not to go back to Muhlenberg, I still had maybe $15,000 in debt. I thought to myself, can we afford this? I met with a couple advisors here. I was what I considered old. I remember calling and being like, am I going to be the oldest person in the classroom? I was really worried about that and so stressed about turning the essay in. And everybody assured me that a lot of mothers had gone through the program before. A lot of people that didn't have a ton of money did it before. I was like, you know what? I don't really have any more excuses. I, I better finish. I was so nervous for no reason. I started this program like peak pandemic. So there was a lot of, are we gonna have the cohort? Are we not going to? Is it gonna be in person? Is it gonna be in Zoom? And it honestly worked really well for me because I had a one-year-old. I could log off of my work computer, log on to my school computer, start class, and then they just made it really easy, I think. A lot of the professors made it very known that we know you're working 40 plus hours a week. Don't feel bad if you have a family or a job or sick people in the hospital with COVID. They made it very clear that this was going to happen for us with their help. Planning my business, the career that I have now, I don't know that I would be doing it if I hadn't gone to Muhlenberg. My 10-year plan is to get my master's. I really would like to eventually teach at Muhlenberg. There is no professor that you're going to have at Muhlenberg that wants you to not do extremely well.